guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my September TBR. Yes, this video is a little bit early but I decided to actually get a jump start on my TBR video just because I don't want to throw off my schedule because I have a ton of fun videos coming up and I don't want my channel to just turn into wrap ups and TBRs. I want to change it up but I also want to show you what I want to read and what I have been reading so do you see my conundrum? thought that I would just get a little bit of a jump start. And since this is 31st when you guys are watching this, it's not too, too early. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you what I want to read in the month of September. So it is a slow month in the month of September, but it is all review books. So here we go. So I have a total of four books that I have to get to this month, and they're the only ones on my TBR at the moment. Uh, it'll give me a chance to pick up whatever I want or pick up some more review books if need be. We'll see what comes out and what I want to read. The first book is Never Let Go by Anne Carroll. I have done a couple tours with Just Read about this book and about this series. And there will be a Goodre Goodreads and Amazon review tour that I'll be doing. So I have to read this book this month. The next book that I'm going to be reading in September is Christmas with the Cowboy by Tina Radcliffe. Tina reached out to me and asked if I would like to be a part of her Wranglers group, and that's like her early readers and stuff, and of course I was absolutely floored and honored because I love her so much and I love her work, so I had to say yes. So Christmas with the Cowboy comes out in October, but you will be seeing an early review of it on my blog in September, so I'm very, very, very excited to read this one. The next book is Freedom's Kiss by Sarah Monson. This is book three in her series. I'm not entirely sure what the series is called. Please forgive me. Uh, I've become really good friends with Sarah. I absolutely love her. She's so sweet. And I'm very excited to read and review this book for her this month. And the last book. <sighs> Guys, I've been talking about this. It was in my August TBR. <sighs> I just... I, mm, I, I'm getting to it in September, like it's the first book that I'm reading in September, first or second, because, but that is The More and the Maiden by Hannah Joy Wilkinson. I actually started it already, I'm like on chapter two, and I really enjoyed what I've read so far. I'm very excited to read it, and it will get done in September. So again, a super easy month for me. I have four books, I'll review, but I love these people, I love these ladies. So it is not going to be a hardship for me. And what's really nice is it will lend me extra time to read books on my shelf that I just want to read. I currently don't have one picked out because where I want to pick one book from my shelf each month that is mine that I don't have to review and just read it so that I can start moving books around on my shelf. But I haven't picked one out because I don't know what I'll be in the mood for in September. So we'll see how it goes. But these are the books that have to be done in September, and I'm so, 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 so excited to read them. I hope you guys liked today's video. I promise I have really fun videos coming up for you guys. I have an entire list. I just need to sit down and actually do the videos and get stuff together, but I will do it, I promise. Of course, these are all review books, which means that I have a blog, and you can follow that at fortheloveofchristianfiction.blogspot.com. And you can also check out my Instagram where you'll see these books when I promote the reviews and when I just talk about them, which is For the Love of Christian Fiction. All my other links are in the description box below, and I think that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!